Bom dia, good afternoon, good evening guys, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Tayhutu, and yes, I am the guy that four years ago with his family sold literally everything he owned, his house, his companies, his cars, went all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world. Still traveling the world now with this beautiful prime machine on the back of me, but that side is where I'm going to talk to you about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. I will turn around so you can see. I will bomb you, of course, with really cool Bitcoin charts, but also show you again the profits where we made with the Bam Bam indicator, about 70% less today. I will talk about Uniswap. I will talk about Ethereum. I will talk about the Games of Throne actress that wants to buy Bitcoin. I will talk about Grayscale. I will talk about Coinbase going down again and about Skybridge, a new company that is now going to step into the Bitcoin world. And I will end the video educating you how to catch a Lingao, this animal over here. They catch them over there in this beautiful area. So make sure you watch the video till the end and you see me catching these things. Enjoy the video, guys. directly walked into over here but it's some kind of beautiful piece of nature where all these Portuguese people are finding clams and fishing and you can see all these kinds of birds even flamingos over there I don't know if you can see it it's flamingos and it's like it's like beach sandy lakey over there it's like swamp over there it's like a very strange location but I really like it it's beautiful it's like a 10 minute drive from the place where I'm staying and you see flamingos and I like see so many people I don't know what they are collecting I think shells or like mussels or I will ask them later first let's talk about Bitcoin blockchain and live guys first the family part Thanks so much, by the way, Michelle. Michelle was the one that commented down below yesterday's video. Did he go to Rocha Delichada? This is the area, Rocha Delichada. So thank you, Michelle. I'm visiting this place. Hopefully you enjoy the video I'm creating here. Also, thank you to all the people that provided liquidity um, to the family token, guys. I think we have now an extra 3K liquidity um, in the family token. Thank you very much. At the end of this month, you will get your fair share of free family tokens because of providing liquidity. Again, Providing liquidity is just holding family tokens and Ethereum tokens in the same wallet for a certain amount of time. Now it was only two weeks. I'm giving away 30,000 family tokens. And next one, December, you need to hold it four weeks. And I'm giving away 40,000 family tokens to the people that hold the tokens in their wallet. Also, guys, I want to warn you for all the scammers down below my videos. I just don't have the time to get rid of all the scam accounts. You know, there are so many scammers and YouTube is not blocking them. Please, never send money to anyone that is posting a name like hacker this, hacker that, or trader here, or trader there, or a comment that gets like 30 likes and then all the answers below the comments are like, oh, you should contact Mrs. This or Mr. This. That's all not my account. Don't fall for these scammers. Also, guys, there was a guy using the Bitcoin family logo and answering your questions. Oh, you should call my manager with this number. That is not me. Please, if you have doubt, if you want to have investment advice or the Bam Bam indicator or whatever, go to the Discord channel. I can speak to you one to one over there. That is the only place where I will share my knowledge about trading and all that stuff. I will never give you a telephone number to contact or connect you to another manager, blah, blah, blah. All scammers watch out. I will walk to the end of this street and I will, will walk back across the beach and check if I can see what these guys all have in these buckets because I'm very curious, man. I want to know what they are catching. Maybe they even have some really nice food that I can take home and cook. Nah, I'm not that a good cook. Maybe I should leave that to Romain. She's a way much better cook than me. Maybe I can take home some food 
and let Romain cook it for our family. That was already the family part guys. Let's jump into the Bitcoin part and the Bitcoin TA part where I will bomb you with some really cool charts, numbers and cool information about Bitcoin. Let's jump into that part. BAM! I am starting with a huge number. Which number? I'm going to start with 318,000 US dollar per Bitcoin in the end of 2021. That's December. What? 318,000 US dollar per Bitcoin? Yes, 318,000 dollar per Bitcoin was mentioned by a manager of the Citibank who wrote a report of the new gold because he's saying Bitcoin is a 21st century gold and yes, we are going to surpass 380,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. I think the report was written by a guy called uh, Fitzpatrick's. So Google Fitzpatrick's and the Citibank and you will find the number of 318,000 US dollar. He used a chart for it, this chart, bam. Like you can see, this chart is not that really clear because it's a print screen from the article, but you can see the idea that he's trying to explain on the chart. So if we would move the same way that we moved in the last in the previous bull run guys you can see the circle on the chart that uh, pointed out the top of the previous previous bull run you know with this green line going up now again this circle and again this green line going up this green line would end around 318,000 US dollar per Bitcoin in December 2021. And he's not the only one guys. Yes, like you know, there are so many billionaires, Paul Tudor and all these guys, all predicting huge Bitcoin prices because it is the 21st century's gold. Let's take a look at the DD Bam Bam indicator profits from the 16th of November on this chart. Bam! On this chart guys, you can see again, we made an accumulated total amount of like 77% profit. But like you can see, we started with 1% of the Bitcoin price, 16,000 US dollars. So 1% 1 is 160 US dollar. And we used the leverage on Bybit of 10. First trade, we took 2.6% and along times the leverage of 10 is 26%, which brought the total amount from 160 to 201 US dollar. The second trade guys was a short of 0.55% with a leverage of 10. So that's about 5%, which made us another 10 US dollar, which brought the number from 201 to 211 US dollar. The third trade guys was a long, it was a long with 3.2% profit times the leverage of 10, that is like 32%. That brought the number of 211 to the number of 278 US dollar. Please remember, we started to trade with 160 US dollar. We ended with 278 US dollar. So this is a profit of around like 70% just in 24 hours. Again, please guys, no financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a professional trader. Even worse, I'm not even the best trader out there. I only trade well because of this bam bam indicator. I just follow what the chart tells me. He tells me long, I go long. He tells me short, I go short. Yes, I look at the combination of the bam bam and the margin call and the stepping line and the volume. But you know, we will educate you on that if you are interested in the bam bam indicator. But this thing is making me bitcoins in a daily base and I love it. I cannot say anything else. Yes, it is mine. Yes, I make some money with it. So yes, it sounds very commercial. But what else should I say? I'm making loss while I'm making profit. It's just how it is. It works for me and it could work for you as well. And no, you don't need to own it to become a family member of the Bitcoin family because the Bitcoin family is not about trading only. It's also about the true fundamentals in Bitcoin. And that is why we try to educate each other in all these aspects on the Discord server. And we try to create a kick-ass huge Bitcoin family that has been growing from, I think, zero members of the Discord to now almost 250 members in the Discord because we educate each other. We share cool ideas. I do giveaways over there. I create games over there where you can win family tokens. We can tip each other on family tokens and way more. So talked enough, just visit the Discord server. You will like it. So let's zoom out a little bit because trading is all about these time frames of 15 minutes, 30 minutes, four hours. Let's zoom out to a weekly chart to show you exactly where we are at the moment when it comes to this bull run. Bam, check this chart. Like you can see in this chart, the all time high in 2014 was around 1200 US dollar. The moment in 2017, 
we surpassed that all-time high of 1200 US dollar we took off that was the moment we broke the previous all-time high and that took us from 1200 dollars to 20,000 US dollar in 2017 now we are at 16,000 US dollar if you look at the chart you can see it's only a small distance to 20,000 US dollar the moment we will break this previous all-time high of 20,000 US dollar guys you can expect exactly the same as we saw after this previous time we broke the all-time high of this 1200 US dollar we saw a huge bull run we are going to see exactly the same in my opinion and that is how these people calculate this price of 380,000 US dollar 100,000 euro US dollar because they look at history and this history is just telling us if we would repeat the same steps we would see these prices in 2021 also look down below in this chart you see the RSI can you see these RSI peaks in 2016, 17, 18, you see this area and you see these peaks going above. That was the bull run. Now look at today. The RSI is just coming above this area. So we are not even close to what we saw in this previous bull run. We saw these peaks coming up all the time. Bam, bam, bam. Also going down a little bit into the area, but we kept coming up. Now we are just going up the first time. So this is the same start we saw in 2016. The first peak coming up in the RSI and you can see what happened after. We are doing the same now again. Also guys, when you look at this chart, BAM! On this chart you can see the average growth after each halving. You can see this bluish cloudish thing. That's the highest growth after the halving and the bottom line is the lowest growth after the halving. This blue thick line in the middle, this is the average growth after the halving line. The orange line is the Bitcoin price at the moment. This is the growth after the current halving in May this year. Like you can see, we are not even near the average growth, but we are moving above the bottom growth and we are far away from the top growth. But if we could reach the average growth line, for example, in December 2020, the Bitcoin price would then be around 41,000 US dollar. If we could reach the average growth line in April 2021, then the Bitcoin price would be 100,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. And if we could reach the growth line in May 2021, the average growth line, so if this orange one could meet this average growth line in May 2021, we would see a Bitcoin price of 387,000 US dollar. So in my opinion, this new orange line is going to be below this average growth line. I think it's going to be in between the average growth line, this blue one, and the bottom growth line. So yes, I think next year 100k easily reachable when we perform as we performed in all the previous bull runs before. Very positive and very cool charts in my opinion. So if you want to pause the video and check the charts again, just do it. You have all the time today to watch this video. But if you pause it, give the video already a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and leave a comment already. What do you think about these charts? Because I love to see you and hear your feedback. That is what exactly what educates me as well. I want to know what you are thinking. I'm sharing my thoughts but I'm very interested in your thoughts as well. So always leave comments down below my videos because I love to respond to them. That were all the charts of today, guys. Yes, I will go to the people there. I will ask them what they are searching over there. I wanna show you guys what these people like catch here every day and how they provide themselves, their sales of an income or even just of food. I don't know, I will ask, I will try to get it out. I wanna know as well, I'm very curious. I'm even like, I wanna go there now. I wanna finish this video before I approach those people so I had all the content done and I don't have to worry about that again. So let's jump into the blockchain slash news part. Bam! In this part, guys, I talk about the news that I read this morning while I was drinking my delicious cup of coffee. It was an amazing coffee, like the cheap one, Nescafe. You know, water in it. Yeah, <laughs> I still need to buy my new Dauer Egberts coffee here in the Dutch store in Lagos because I prefer this filter Dauer Egberts taste 
to my coffee. The first short news in this blockchain part is Uniswap. Yes, I like the service of Uniswap. That's uh, of course because you know you can buy family tokens in Uniswap as well. But Uniswap's liquidity dropped with 40% from 3.7 billion to now 1.7 billion because you know the liquidity providers are not incentivized anymore. The same thing what I'm doing with the family token, Uniswap did as well. So all the people that held Uniswap in their token, in their wallet, received free Uniswap as an interest. I'm doing this with the family token. But now that Uniswap is not incentivizing the uh, Uniswap holders anymore, you know, with free Uniswaps, um, they sold their Uniswaps or they switched their Uniswaps and that's why the liquidity of Uniswap now dropped from 3.7 billion to 1.7 billion which still is a crazy amount of liquidity for a protocol like Uniswap. So yes, nothing, I don't think there's any stress or any fear over there. It's just a logical event that happens always when you stop incentivizing um, the liquidity holders. Next news guys is about Grayscale. Grayscale officially holds now 500,000 bitcoins. That's a shitload of bitcoins over there, man. You you have 500,000 bitcoins. That's like maybe you should provide liquidity for the family token, Mr. Grayscale. Can you not just look at my video and like say, ah, I will provide liquidity. Uh, one or two bitcoins of the 500,000 will go to the family token. Thanks for talking so much about me in the videos, Didi. I will back you back by giving you liquidity for your family token. That would be very nice if Grayscale will be doing that, of course. That's not happening. You know, it's an investment fund. You know, they need to pay all their investors uh, their, their fair share and profits of this trust fund, of course. So uh, I can understand that you're not doing that. But you know, you can always try. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Maybe you can do it from your private stack. I heard that you have a huge amount of Bitcoins privately as well. So maybe you can just give me a few of those private Bitcoins as a liquidity. You know, why not? Help a poor guy over here, man. Help a startup. You know, you are a big company. We are still small, man. You always need to back each other. You don't always need to help each other. We need to change those roles together. So yes, Provide liquidity for the family token. Just do it. Oh, that's the slogan of Nike. I cannot use that one, can I? Yes, I can. Just do it. <laughs> Next news, guys. Yes, I just turned around because there's a dead end. Yes, just do it, but I'm not going to jump like you see these Nike commercials over that gap. That was a too big gap and I'm too heavy. I will fall like this in the mud and I don't want to do that now. The next news, guys, is about Macy Williams, aka Arya Stark from the Games of Thrones series. Yes, the Netflix Games of Thrones series. This actress, which is one of the main players of the Games of Thrones, now tweeted yesterday, guys, should I go long on Bitcoin? Should I buy Bitcoins? I think about 120,000 people answered her tweet, and I think it was 51% that said, yes, buy Bitcoins now. So that indicates to me, there will be a dump soon, guys, because when the herd is saying, buy, 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 I always say, bye, bye. I just sell the Bitcoins to a stable coin. I get out of the market because mostly when the herd does this, Bitcoin does that. And mostly when the herd says, oh, we are going to crash, Bitcoin is going up. So for me, when an actress tweets this and 51% says bye, mm, I start to doubt. Maybe I say bye bye and I will step out to the market for some time. Another news item, guys, is about Coinbase. What happened? Yes, of course, Bitcoin made a run of like 3 to 5% and Coinbase went down again. I'm saying again because they also went down, I think, in October this year. And I do think in the previous bull run, they went down a lot of times. So it seems to have a correlation between the Bitcoin price going up, so the volume and trading and all that stuff also increasing on Coinbase and then they always just go down. Maybe they don't have the dry software. I don't know. Maybe they don't have enough servers. I don't know what the problem is, but Coinbase often seems to go down when Bitcoin is going up very quickly. The next item, guys, the next short item is about Skybridge. Skybridge is the next institutional huge trust fund. I think it's a two billion trust fund. And Skybridge now asked uh, the sex approval of starting to buy cryptocurrency as well for their fund. So that's exactly what is happening now. This is FOMO among the institutional investors like you, all these huge funds like, like Grayscale, like MicroStrategy Company, all these people, all these billion dollar valued companies are stepping into this industry because they know this is the 21st century gold. They know that we are just up front of a huge bull run. They don't want to miss this bull run. So that's fear of missing out. And that is now happening 
to the institutional investors. It happened in 2017 to us, to the normal people, you know, the people that just oh, buy Bitcoin, buy Bitcoin. And now it's happening to companies because now four years later, they understand the power of Bitcoin. They understand the market cycle. And then the more of these huge billion dollar valued companies are going to buy Bitcoin, the less Bitcoin will be available. And yes, the supply will always be the same, 21 million at the end, but for the coming year, 18.5 million Bitcoins. And if there is not more Bitcoins available and people are buying up all the Bitcoins every day or even buying more Bitcoins than are being mined every day, then you will get a supply crisis. And a supply crisis can only lead to an increase of the Bitcoin price because there is no more Bitcoin available. People want to buy it. So there's a huge demand and there is a shortage in supply and that will increase the Bitcoin price. I'm going to try to walk downwards here to on the beach guys so I can film there a little bit before I start to ask these people all these questions. It's a steep climb so I need to check uh, where I walk. Give me a sec. And while walking down guys I just realized that was the last news I had to share with you. So yes Skybridge that was the last news. This feeling when walking on the sand it's like the sand is going down a lot it's like it feels like amazing. There's like a foot massage. He showed me how to find the Lingero. You call it Lingero. Sorry, I, I'm not the good pronunciation. There is a life value in this city. And when they come out, you, 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 you just sell them or eat them. Or eat them. Yeah. What, yeah. I what is this? It's a big get out. No. This is. Oh my god. I have never seen this. This is the. This is like. I get exciting of this. You can take Touch the, 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 the sticky part. From the after. Will you carry me like I am? <laughs> My God, I just called a Lingero. I am so thankful. Molto obrigado that you teach me this. This is awesome. But where do you see how to begin? Um, an eight. Yeah. No. Ah, the eight. Yes. Steve Irwin would say on Discovery, this is amazing. <laughs> and it's, how does it taste? Is it, it's good. Salty you or like? You can put it in microwaves and eat it. In microwave? Yes. No. You can say it. The big one. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> this is addictive. The, the work is, is like addictive. Addiction. You want to catch more and more. <laughs> yes. This is so cool. I have never. That's why I love Portugal, man. Portugal is the best country in the world. Just come to Portugal. We need tourists here and we need people that can taste this amazing food. You can just catch food here on the beach. This beautiful lady just educated me how to do this. I am so thankful. And this is how Portuguese people are. They help you. You can ask anything and they will help you. I love it. I just love Portugal, guys. I will ask her if I can take home one or two and I will try it. And I will feed my kids Lingao from the microwave and check how they taste. When they sell a full bucket with these animals, these clams or these shell animals or these mussels, whatever name you will give it, uh, one full bucket gives them 80 US dollar. 80 dollar is about like 0 0.0048 Bitcoin, I think, yeah. Yeah, so 0 0.0048 Bitcoin is about 80 dollar. So one bucket of these clams is 0 0.00 for eight Bitcoin, which is 80 US dollar at the moment. If Bitcoin goes ten, if Bitcoin will go times 10 next year, then that bucket would not have been 80 bucks, but would it have been 800 US dollar profit to these guys. How can I educate them that they need to sell the bucket for 80 US dollar and then they use 40 US dollar to live because they need food as well. And the other 40 dollar they need to invest in Bitcoin. Now I will go home, I will put them in the microwave for 10 seconds to just taste them and next time I will go back with the kids and catch a few of them um, and then we will cook them in another way with like oil and garlic and that should be a very, very tasteful way as well. Man, Portugal is full of surprises man, I love it. I just was educated how to catch Lingao. Hola. I caught some really cool stuff. What is it? It's like animals in a shell and you can eat them. We need to put them in the microwave. I caught them like with my hands, like I, like this, out of the beach. I will show you the video, it's really cool. Animal killer. Another killer. Yes, 
cute. Why do you? Th it's not an animal killer. It's like everybody is eating these. It's like not killing animals. Do we have a microwave? Yeah. Oh, this do is going to be to fun. She educated me how to oh. catch them out of the sea, like out of the beach. We need to clean them with water. Mm -hmm. And then you put them 10 seconds in the microwave and then you should eat it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven. <laughs> oh my God. Ready? It's still a little bit hot. I think we overheated it. So this thing is getting out. I don't know. And? Oh. Hmm. Okay. They taste really good. Yeah. That's free food. Taste. Mm. It's just a small piece without the shell. What without the shell? This is the shell, I think. It's still so <laughs> sand in it. That's not, not bad. <laughs> Thumbs up for Lingao. I hope you really enjoyed today's video again, guys. If you did enjoy the video, please give the video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And please leave a comment as I love to respond to your comments. We need to educate each other. And always remember to zoom out in crypto and to zoom in at life. Always try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life is about. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bye!